Wahaha! Welcome to Hagatha Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wahaha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo! There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art! Hello everyone, hello, this is your Baron Block reporting in. As you can see, I pretty much switched up, like, all the stuff, and now everything here wants to kill me. Pretty fantastic. And luckily, these actors are very, very, um, expendable, so I'll just waste them, I guess. So, yeah. Um, I remembered after, like, a long time that, um, this theater is actually pretty, pretty, um, very confusing to navigate the first time through, and I remember I was here for hours on end the first time I played it, but I remember I even looked up a strategy guide to try to see, you know, which scenes I would have to play and all that stuff, and oh yeah, the critic said that he had something for us to, like, check out, like a script that would quote-unquote, what, knock everyone dead? Or, like, knock people off their feet. I forget what he said. I, I don't really care about him. So I'm gonna talk to him. Can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Cats get there from here! <laughs> not with that attitude. I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it. The theater is due. Uh, hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. <laughs> Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. Well, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. Oh, look at him. He's such an intellectual. I bet his dick is so big that two people suck on it at once. Oh my god, you're so superior. Shut up, dude. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. And then you get fined for rubbernecking. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. Finally, this what I came for. action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No. No. I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Don't expect artistic liberties to not be taken. It's your own fault for signing over something without your uh, copyright or whatever it's called. Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Nope. Ma I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, <laughs> just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. I love Becky. She's so wonderful. Hey, what's this? A new script? Yeah, I was holding it this entire time. Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. All of them. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Well, there is a phantom already in existence, so... You can be my first AD. You Assistant director? If you want nice. To run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. 
All right. I don't think this is the right set to really play this on, but... <laughs> hang around to help raise your poor daughter. Aww. I, I can, in the very slightest bit, relate to a, like, a dad not really being there. I mean, my dad was there, but, like, in terms of how I felt emotionally, it didn't really feel like he was ever there, even though he was physically almost always present. He just never really engaged, you know? So... Um, I think I gotta change the mood now. I'm sorry, but I did look up a, strat a strategy guide because, you know, it was just gonna be me, like, meandering and, like, wandering around and just trying, like, this and that, these and those. And, yeah, I just want this to be pretty seamless, you know? I have no idea. Yay! Huzzah! Forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty! Rejoice! For spring has be satin upon ourselves, and the spirit of men is is that a word? Hooray! Oh my god. It's like Bob's Burgers. Except three-dimensional. Alright, so... No, get off the thing, you fool. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to use this thing. How do we use this? Uh, Becky, Night of Joy again. Yeah, man. I remember I loved telling her that she was doing a great job. Alright, let's see if the scene will change. Because I know you stand into these little weird portal things, and then it lifts up the set, and then it brings everything back down. Okay, here we go. The, s oh the plot advances. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> Correct response. Nice. Uh, I don't know if this is the scene with the mailboat, because I read something about a mailboat. So, man, we just got to get back up to that place, so. Yeah, man. Oh, whoops. Oh! oh no, he died. Alright, so, um, it didn't really progress in the happy setting, so I'm gonna set it to the bad mood and see where it goes from there. Boom! Things are getting gloomy. Ooh, a dragon! Cool beans! I really love this music that plays in the background. Nice ad lib. The male boat may never come, 
but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! <laughs> oh no! Is a dragon in ID. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Fantastic. I remember when I took a stage design class, they had us watch this really dated uh, video about safety and all that stuff. And the only reason why they still play it is because it's one of the most accurate ones yet, even with its hammy acting and like cheesy gags every once in a while but they say that if you have an open flame on the stage you have to have someone just off the stage holding a fire extinguisher just ready to march in the moment that something bad happens so i'm gonna see if i can actually get up on that dragon thing Ooh, those guys are ready to rumble ow 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 Stop, stop burning me. Holy frick. Stupid dogs. Oh my god. Fall to thy own hubris. Stop. Stop. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, it doesn't say how to defeat this dragon. I just know I have to defeat it. Somehow. So... Yon dragon is a mystical force of the Yon dragon is a mystical force of the theater. Only theater itself can affect it. Duh. That dragon looks pretty fierce. I wonder who can slay such a beast. Oh, I think I know. Uh, I have to use the freaking megaphone. Oh, that is a beautiful megaphone. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, man. Let's just call upon the forces of this dad that was never spoken of. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Yay! Yay, rejoice! Yay! For the record, not a bad kisser. TMI, irrelevant, and... Ow, frick. I thought you guys were cool. Goodness gracious. You get off the stage. Look at you. With your bad acting and your poor... What do they call it? Um... Uh, projecting and all that stuff. Alright, I got another part of this play, so I'm gonna give it over to Becky, I guess. Alright. Do I actually have to hold it? Here we go. Oh, another script? Mm-hmm. The day the mailboat finally came? Yep. Uh oh. Toss it to the side. I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone! And... action! I say, I believe I do see the mail, but I'm approaching! Oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified! Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Aww. Ah, oh, jeez. That is awful. Oh, oh, gotta, gotta skedaddle. Alright, so it didn't work in the happy setting. I mean, in the in the um, sad setting. Or bad setting. So I'm gonna put it to the happy. I really like that noise it makes as it alternates between the two. It's just really, really nice. But I feel that it's, like, overused a lot in a lot of movie trailers. Just like that bass drop sort of sound. Really, really loud and very unnecessary after a while and very, very much overused. Okay. Aw, oh, look at you, sweet puppy. You beast of niceness. Yeah, that one can use a little work. Mm-hmm. 
sit back and watch. Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! <laughs> I always like that little animation of her saying yay. And I heard that lavender can actually be pretty bad for your skin, I think. I don't I don't really remember. I just remember e reading an article about like a ton of perfumated things that could be used. And lavender was apparently not one of them that you can use, I mean. So, we're gonna go to the next scene and try to see if there's another, you know, written playbook for us to, you know, move on. This episode's gonna run a little bit longer than necessary. Wow, the prop department really did a good job with their, um, boat production, I guess. Alright, here's goodbye Hagatha home. Alright, let's collect a couple of figments, just because I can. I wonder where this portal leads. It probably leads to the previous one. Oh, and the funny thing is, even though this is fake water, you cannot touch it or the hand of Galochia will get you, because it's still water, so better watch out. Alright, let's give this to Becky. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, props, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. I love how she tosses it to the side and lets it integrate into the mental scape. want to get up into the catwalks. And action. Sigh! When will my mother ever come take me home from this horrible school for girls? Do not worry. I see them floating here now in a magical balloon. Yay. What? There's no magic cloud in this set. No rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. Oh no, improv. It's what Becky feared. Oh, they really are dancing around. All right, so didn't work in the happy setting, so I'm going to switch it to the bad setting. Niceness. What a lovely noise. Maybe I won't have to call for it to be replayed? Maybe? Here we go. And immediately before she ruins our career I mean your career well your career kind of stems off of hers so worry not baby daughter for I every day shall write to you not yes and I shall mail the letters myself personal <laughs> oh no Okay, so that is that, I guess. And I'm not really sure what the next step is, but, um, yeah. There might be the thing over here. Whoa, you almost got me there, bucko. Whoa. Ah, jeez. Oh, no. There's a hand. Told ya. Oh, hey, it crawled right back up there through the magic of theater, I guess. So let's see where this takes us. It probably takes us back. Yeah, it took us back to the previous stage. Okay, so there's that. Um, oh, man. 
This is telling me I have to do things in a certain order, but I am not seeing much of anything. I'm gonna go back here, see if that changes things. Well, of course it's gonna change things, but... Oh, you know what's funny? Back when the Greeks used to do their plays and stuff, um, they all had, like, the ability to suspend their disbelief and all that stuff. You know, like, hey, if the character says they're in this place now, even though physically on the stage itself they haven't moved at all, then we'll believe them. But the Romans were like, no, they have to have new sets. They have to have, like, a new location, literally, for us to believe that they've moved from, like, Athens all the way to, like, the series or whatever. I don't know what they're called. But, yeah, it was pretty funny. Okay, so... Do I have to jump up? No? Man. Well, I'll figure this out in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you have a good day. If it isn't a good day, treat yourself to something. And until we meet again next time, I really hope you do. Bye.